In this short video, screencast, I'll show you how to use Step Bible to do some serious Bible study, looking at how a particular word might lead us through 1 Samuel chapter 16. First, go to stepbible.org. When you get there, you'll be landed on Genesis chapter 1 and the English Standard Version. Although the English Standard Version's not my favorite translation for a variety of reasons, it's useful in this case because each of the words is linked to the Hebrew word that stands behind it, where there is clearly one Hebrew word that stands behind it, and it displays down the bottom uh, a brief dictionary entry for the word. So we'll stay with the ESV. You can change it if you want to display another version. The instructions are over there on the right. I do want to change the passage that's displayed and the passage that's being searched and studied. Not Genesis chapter 1, but 1 Samuel chapter 16. Just type in 1 Sam 16, or as they'd prefer it, 1 Sa 16 you have to press enter to make it move and once it goes you're in 1 Samuel chapter 16 as you can see the words still light up because we're still in the in the English Standard Version which has been coded like that I'm interested in the way in which the word for seeing might lead us through the chapter it's not at least not very prominent towards the beginning here but as we get further on it starts to become obvious that word looked in verse 6 for example as you can see when I just mouse over the word words that are from the same verb are highlighted and words like appearance in verse 7 which are from a related word a word from the same root are highlighted in a different way if I want to keep that while I move what I have to do is double click the word when I double click the word you'll see that the vocabulary entry pops over to the right there so that you can get other vocabulary entries while you're studying it down the bottom there and you can then follow the way in which the word traces you through the chapter the only occurrence of a related word in the first few verses is where God says to Samuel I have provided for myself a king among his sons the word provided there is part of that verb ra'ah Ra'ah is used to mean provide also in the story of Abraham and the near sacrifice of Isaac. It's the origin of the anglicized phrase Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh Yireh in Hebrew. But when we get to verse 6, and the sons of Jesse are being paraded before Samuel in order that he may choose the new king, or rather, may recognize the new king that God has chosen he looked on and he thinks surely the Lord's anointed is before him and then in the next verse God says to Samuel do not look upon his appearance it's not the same word but it's a related word it's not the verb ra'ah but the noun mahre and then God says the Lord sees not as a man sees Man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. And then the story goes on, and finally David is brought. And David is handsome, a phrase good to look at in Hebrew. That's how you can use this neat tool, which is either online or downloadable and totally free to get at how this word see might lead you through this chapter and perhaps help you to see one of the themes of the chapter God bless